yeah, so, Playground Omega it is. And we are here to fly this bad girl. Valkyrie 2, the quadcopter version. The tricopter, of course, was a major pain in the ass. I couldn't get it to hold altitude and it had major problems with pitch. It would go out on me to the rear and then uh, just drop out of the sky. Anyway, this thing flies like a damn dream, and this is a perfect day. I've got a slight breeze coming out of the north. It's probably all at five miles an hour. Best morning I've had in weeks, months maybe, I don't know, a long time. Florida's a windy place. A uh, quick tour. She has four BL2830-13 850kV motors from uh, ready-made RC, was it, I believe? They spin 10 by 4.7 uh, APCs, two regulars, two pushers, like that. Uh, powered for this go with a 2200 MAH3S, the next go will be a 3000. It flies better with the 3000, I think. So far, anyway, that's my opinion. Uh, there's video battery, just 500 milliamp hour 3S. These beams are uh, poplar, square poplar dowel from Lowe's. They're uh, 3 8 inch width, very nice. It's light, but it's strong. <coughs> and I got allergies. The body is double-sided copper clad uh, printed circuit board, 16th inch fiberglass G10. I etched the copper off with a mixture of hydrochloric acid and uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide. Works very well. Uh, radio control system is Dragon Link. The uh, video system is 1.3 gigahertz. Little rubber feet screwed into the bottom there. Helps uh, keep the abuse where it belongs on the feet rather than on the bottom. And other than that, oh yeah, KK Blackboard. 5.5 uh, is what drives it with the, uh, what is that, 2.3 version uh, X-Copter software. I love her. She flies like a damn dream. She's beautiful. I was doing speed runs around here last night with it when I found out that FPV wasn't going to go. And uh, just following the strike, you know, buzzing my car like, oh, I don't know, 20 to 30 miles an hour. It was pretty slick. Just, no, she's fast. Powerful little thing. One thing I really like about this quad, X-Copter, is that she is so quick to set up in the field. I've got the batteries velcroed to the top, just boop, boop, two connectors, and she's in the air, just like that. Well, you have to, you know, use a radio transmitter to control her, but yes, she's in there that fast. The Easy Star, by comparison, you have to keep a canopy open until you get to the field, and then you have to dig down in there and fiddle with the batteries, and then when you do another battery pack, you have to dig all that crap out, repack it. It's time-consuming and tedious. Uh, this thing is just, <laughs> it's there. Man, I could get out and be flying if I wasn't in a babbling mood. I could get out and be flying in seconds, really. Anyway, okay, let's get at it and uh, see how we do. Should be interesting. Let's do it. And she's, whoa, bounce. And she's up. Vibrates a lot. The HD did well. Oh, isn't that brilliant? Wow, yes it is. Oh, yeah, this is great. Yeah, you notice? I didn't swear. I said, faha. Good boy. And she's way up there now. So she's easy. That's nice. So also... Steering big time to the wrong way. Definitely got a tremor out. Okay. Come on a little better. 
Ага. Still a little wild. But better. And something else, too. And this is so cool. I mean, just so cool. That's neat. Whoa, whoa, oh. Shall we fly her out? Why not? Oh, that's good. I don't have to redo the tape. Okay, this is like training day, big time. Now switching to the 3000 milliamp hour monster pack. He keeps throwing the camera every time I come down. And I got a honeybee on the quad. Oops. How do I keep catching honeybees? That's kind of strange, isn't it? Okay. Hopefully that string will blow out of the way. Or not. <laughs> now that was funny. This is why this place is unique. Because you get people that just randomly come through the area and burn their tires to cinder. That's funny. That's pretty funny. You see, I held my cool though. I knew there was a car there. And I just did what I had to do. better. Yeah, I just need practice. See, now that was a good gentle landing. If I don't try to beat her, then she does actually quite well. Uh, 
turn this better too. Went over my head, a little scary. It's just a matter of getting used to the controls, getting used to the flight characteristics. So, look at that, careful, <laughs> it's just fast. No sudden changes, gently. Like that. Easy peasy. Look at the black marks, wow. Yeah, she's fast. She's fast, boy. Let me tell you something right now, she's pretty fast, man. Whoa! Yow. Losing my video. I think I'm getting a separation at the connector. Drops a little. Came in too hot. Very good. I like the way she flies with the 3000. Wee. Well, that got disorienting in a hurry. Okay, what happened? I had like no control to the uh, left. Totally lost her. No, oh, this can't be good. <laughs> yeah, we done. Oh, two of them, ouch. Okay, no serious harm done. What happened is I lost control. Uh, I think I got confused more than anything. I'll have to review the video and see just exactly what I did. Uh, anyway, I lost control in a spin and she hit on her side over there in the ditch. Uh, busted two of the arms. That's all, no big deal. And Shit, how many times did I do that with the tricopter before I finally got it right? Oh wait, that's right, I never did get it right. But this is different. I mean, I never flew the tricopter like, like I'm flying this thing. It just never happened. The thing was too unstable. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's pack it in, take her home, and uh, see about repairs. I'm going to take my time at it, though, because, you know... I can do that. I've got a lot of time off. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get her home. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the parts that didn't suck. And uh, see you next time. Bye for now.